The whole chairman likes big sweaty men. The whole chairman likes big sweaty men. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel Help Dominance. Anthony here. Please remember to like and subscribe. And also click that notification bell if you're enjoying what you're seeing and want to see more. Coming up, Toulouse Pair Get New Deal. NRL Bad Guy in at Hull. And the other incomings that Hull have made for this 2022 season. Some nice news coming out of uh, Toulouse as they have signed recent French international and try scorer Justine Sangare to a new deal for the 2021, uh, 2022 season, it, which is when the contract will end. Um, originally from Bagtelli, Bagtellier, I, I can't, I'm not sure how to pronounce that properly, you'll have to bear with me. Um, one of the districts of Toulouse, Sangare uh, has been at his hometown club for one all of his career after progressing through the Toulouse Academy. Sangare was approached by uh, Sylvain Holes, who else even, <laughs> in 2016 to play in the French Elite One League um, at the age of just 17 years old. At just 23, Sangare has already had 50 the, well, almost 50 championship caps under his uh, appearances under his belt, and was approached by several big Super League clubs before penning a new deal. On the deal, Sangare said, I am very proud to extend my Toulouse 13 uh, deal, and I am determined as ever for the season, next season in the Super League. Let's go, boys. This also comes after Toulouse announcing that uh, Mathieu Jezame has signed a new three-year deal with the club. The centre came through the Toulouse reserve side also, having joined the professional outfit in 2019. Jezame played in every game of the French side's uh, season in 2021, as the club made it to the Super League following an emphatic victory over Everston Rovers in the Million Pound game. He won the Man of the Match award in that final, and at just 22 years old, Giuseppe has a bright future in the game, extending his stay in the south of France until 2024. Giuseppe, here sporting a earlier version of his current moustache, said, I'm very happy to stay at Toulouse to share this first season in Super League with my friends. I'm delighted that the club has this confidence in me. The president of Toulouse 13, Bernard Sarazarian, said, First of all, keeping Justin at Toulouse was an important objective. On the one hand, because he's a product of the club. On the other hand, to reward his superb season. I'm very happy to see him continue his adventure with us, and I'm convinced that we have not yet seen his full potential. On Josume, he said, It is always important to keep our players from our reserve and youth academy. Seeing Matthew extend uh, shows his attachment to the club. In a view of an extraordinary season, like the team, I'm happy that our leading scorer is staying with us. Going to be interesting to see what these boys do in Super League, as they are young players, and if the interest that they're talking about actually was genuine there is a lot of potential in these boys and they can only grow which will benefit to lose rugby league french rugby league and also the french national team for years to come and they'll be role models for the ne next generation who are currently playing at elite one level against reserve teams of catalan and also other clubs around the area I'm going to temper it, as it will be their first season in Super League. Um, one thing though, um, I thought, like many others, that Josemay was not having the best of games in the French versus in France versus England game. But it, we got an answer of why that was. He was hobbling about on crutches after the game. So he got injured quite early on. 
So we'll have to see how it goes in Super League. It's pre-season in December and then January. And then Super League starts in February. But good luck for these two, on chance and congratulations on new contracts. So the so there was a rumor mill at the beginning of the uh, the month. Um, month of September to be honest that uh, Kane Evans seen here in his new uh, New Zealand Warriors gear and um, that would be he would be on his way to Super League uh, for the 2022 seasons and that has come to fruition as the 20 as the uh, the Gene International uh, signed for Hull FC for the next for the 2022 season um, after the Fijian Enforcer um, committed to the end of 2023. So he signed a two year deal, and the Fijian World Cup representative, who's a powerful NRL enforcer, and stands at six foot six tall. He has also represented a Miss Competition, a strong competition for his signing signature. Um, Hull FC in the Super League for the first time. Now, with 130 appearances down under, representing South uh, Sydney Roosters, Parramatta Eels, and the Warriors, the front rower has plenty of NRL experiences as well as featuring regularly for his country since 2013 alongside other Fijian new recruit, Joe Lover Doe, who are even. Speaking on his decision to join the Black and Whites in 2021, Evans said to have signed my deal and to be on my way over there soon is a massive opportunity for me and I can't wait to get started with the club. I've always wanted to test myself on the other side of the world in Super League, but what I have heard from some of the boys I know already and have played in the Super League say that the forwards tend to be much bigger. It's a new test for me to challenge myself against some of the big names on the other side of the world and I'm looking forward to making home at Hull FC um, having heard a lot of good things about the club and the city. Evans had a brief taste of Hull previously having played at the MKM Stadium during the 2013 World Cup for Fiji who ironically was based in the city next year for the delayed World Cup at the um, tournament next autumn. So he's going to be able to play international rugby league in the city that he will be living in. Excellent. Alongside his international teammate Lovadua, both players will be keen to make a good impression locally for the club and country, as well as the pacey England Knights winger Darnell McIntosh, who also joins the Hull FC um, for 2022. The trio will line up alongside Samoan International League Itzau for former Tonga captain Manu Mao and uh, Player of the Year Chris Sarte. You have all signed new deals at the club, as well as Man of Steel nominee Jake Connor. As preparations continue for the 2022 season, head coach uh, Brett Hodgson believes the acquisition of Kane brings another dimension to the club's pack. Kane is a big unit, and the addition to our squad brings another level of power, aggression, and size next season. And we're pleased to have another key player tied down for 2022. He's got a wealth of experience, having played consistently in the NRL for the best part of a decade, and a competitive streak, which is clear to see when he takes to the field. He also brings an impressive offload game, which can help us develop our second phase of the attack further and threaten opposition teams across the park. So we continue with the 2022 squad signing announcements that each club has and as we've been looking at Hull uh, we'll have a look at Brett Hodgson's uh, new signings uh, because he's brought in uh, Kane Evans who we've already covered in this video 
and he's followed that up with Darnell McIntosh, uh, the ex Huddersfield, well, the Huddersfield winger, who joins um, Hull for 2022. So, he has played 100 games for. Um, for both Huddersfield and Oldham, two games being on loan at Oldham, uh, while scoring 47 tries in his career. He's also kicked seven goals during his period and has been part of the England Knights setup um, more recently than not. Still on the 24, he is a youngster that could develop and could be a very, very good strike player for. Uh, fall in place of the departing Mahe Fanua and also um, Beretta Ferremo, who's both have gone on to Castleford. So the other signing that was happened over the summer, or well, the pre-season should I say, I'm too used to football pre-season, apologise, um, is Joe Lovodua. Um, he is a Fijian international with seven caps to his name and also scoring one try. But he's a player that has um, been predominantly in either the Queensland Cup or the New South Wales Cup, being around the St. George Hill of uh, B team and at the beginning of this season signing for the um, South Sydney New South Wales Cup team. So it's quite an interesting signing this. He's still only 23, uh, comes from uh, Lawatoka in Fiji and played his junior rugby, uh, rugby league at Hurstville, Hurstville United. Um, he was part of the 2017 Rugby League World Cup squad for Fiji and we're going to see how this 23 year old uh, hooker goes about um, his business when it comes to the Super League season. But as well as these three signings, I do have to acknowledge that signing on Man of Steel Com, um, a nominee, Jake, uh, Jake Connor on for a new contract, uh, Manu Mato um, signing a new contract, as well as Chris Zarte and Liggy Sal all extending the deals to play in 2022 means that they have got a massive squad. 20 uh, as well so well, a massive forward base to go for I know I joked at the beginning of the video um, about the preference of the whole German but it's going to be a way that they can set a base from which they've been hoping to do for years but they need the back line and the supporting cast the playmakers to make a moves, make the moves that they need to to dominate games. The flip side is um, they're going to be rotated quite a lot, as there are some big men um, already there, like Andre Savelio, uh, just to name one. Uh, Joe Cater um, being a developing forward from Bulls Academy. So we'll have to see how Hull get to themselves together in 2022. And that's it for another video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share this video worldwide. Also remember to tag your friends into the video so that we can get more people watching the show. I'll bring a show every single day. You bring the audience. How's that sound? No, I've got to put out good content so that people can be attracted to this. It's me, basically. <laughs> anyway, uh, I know I did a little bit of a giggle at the beginning of this video about um, Paul Chairman, like big sweaty man. It's true. They've just signed someone else who's six foot six after Chris Sarte, uh, Liggy Sao, Andre Savelio. They're all big guys. Really big guys. Anyway, it'll be a force to reckon with when going forward. No joking aside for that. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Did I go too far? Or uh, was I just on point? 
or uh, and also tell me who you think the Super League champions are going to be for 2022. Not heard too much about Catalan for extending their squad to make their squad better for a playmaker. All that Mitchell Pierce talk is seems to be gathering haste for that to be the case. Um, but they have identified from what I believe two others to be in the ranks. I digress. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to share, share, share. Also, stay safe. All the best. I'll see you in the next video.